ne ijuma kose kwa mpayo leo hii mwana kondo wa Mungu atakuwa anahangaika na kuhangaishwa na mwisho wa siku atakufa na kusulubishwa ataka kwenye kaburi kwa siku tatu kumaanisha Ijumaa leo Jumamosi na siku Jumapili atakuwa anafufuka rasmi mwana kondo wa Mungu aka kwamba alikuja duniani kutukufia sisi wanadamu na mwisho wa siku kwa kwamba leo ni Ijumaa kuu siku ambayo tunasherehekea wepo wake duniani wakati ule na nimekeki mekeki mubashara kutoka hapa uwanja wa Kinyata ndani ya kaunti ya Machakos ikiwa kwamba nimekeki mekeki kwa heshima kubwa ya mchu ano waraga wa kumsherehekea na kumkumbuka aliyekuwa shujaa wa timu ya taifa ya raga ya wachezaji saba kila upande huyo ni kocha hayati benjamin ayimba ayimba alifariki dunia mei 22 mwaka 2021 baada ya kugua maradhi ya cerebral malaria akafariki katika hospitali moja kule maeneo ya jiji kuu la Kenya Nairobi na ikawa ni pigo kubwa kabisa si kwa familia yake tu na watu wake bali kwa ulimwengu wa raga ikiwa kwamba Kenya aliongozwa na nakumbukwa na atakumbukwa milele daima kwa kiongoza timu ya taifa ya raga ya wachezaji saba kila upande shujaa kunya kuwa taji la mkondo wa Singapore wa ligi ya dunia mkondo wa Singapore ni sadifa kubwa unafanyika pia wikendi hii ikiwa ni Jumamosi na Jumapili na timu ya taifa iko kule lakini mara hii iko chini ya uangalizi mkubwa wa mwalimu mkuu Damiane Makagrath na Benjamin Ayimba alifanya mambo mazito ilikuwa ni mwaka 2016 na na ndio kipindi kile hali ya kikisha Kenya inaandikisha historia alifunga fiji alama 30 kwa saba katika finali ikawa kwamba ni taji la kwanza kabisa la Kenya katika historia ya msururu wa raga ulimwenguni mkondo wa Singapore ambao mara hii Kenya imepangwa katika kundi la cha pamoja na Ufaransa pamoja na Mar- kane sambamba na Uruguay yosho makori mwana sporti na kuwa na sherehesha mikeke mikeke live tena mubashara kutoka hapo uwanja wa Kenyatta ndani ya kaunti ya Machakos dimba hili limeandaliwa kwa heshima kubwa na nataka haraka pesi nimlete pembeni niseme naye kwa kamba yamekuwa kifanya shughuli nzito kuhakikisha kwamba maandalizi yanakuwa kabambe kila kitu kinakwenda sambamba mashindano yanafanyika kuanzia rasmi kesho Jumamosi na yatamatike siku ya Jumapili raga ya kumkumbuka ambaye ni Benjamin Ayimba amehudumu hapa nyumbani akifanya mambo mazito aliwahi kuichezea klabu ya Nondis alichezea timu ya taifa ya Raga katika mashindano mbali mbali ya ulimwengu akakwenda katika mashindano ya jumuiya ya madola mara si moja mara tatu niseme haswa niseme hapa na mwandalizi mkuu mwanzo anzo na jina lako unaitwa nani Quicks nyakoka Quicks angalia mashindano ndo haya yamefika mwanzo mpangilio yote ikoje So kwanza huko ni Kiswahili ama Kizungu? <laughs> Jita wale ile uko nayo sawa. <laughs> <laughs> From Kwe. <where? laughs> uh, kila kitu kwa shwari. Um, setup inaendelea in, in, in tunamaliza leo. Alafu leo jioni tuko na zile tunaziita uh, uh, training match ama mechi za tizi. Alafu kesho sasa ndio uh, kinanganyiro inaanza kesho uh, Jumamosi alafu Jumapili tunamalizia. Na hasa timu ngapi mara hii? Timu 22 Uh, sita za wanadada alafu sita ya wanaume. Kwa hiyo kila kitu shwari sasa no naangalia maandalizi ndio yanaendelea, magoli ndio yanawekwa. Aha, e, ka, ka, kabisa. Alafu baada ya kidanganyiro tukona sherehe kwenye ile inaitwa entertainment village hapa hapa kando ku uh, kusema asante kwa Benjamin Naimba ndugu yetu na shujaa kwa yale yote alifanya kwa wa maendeleo ya Kenya rugby na mchezo wa raga nchini na dunia, dunia nzima. Mwanzo na mkumbukaje Hayati Benjamin Ajimba? Alikuwa rafiki yangu miaka wow 30 tulianza tukiwa umri wa 24 tukiwa shuleni. Mimi nilikuwa Kisumu Boys High School yale kwa captain wa nilikuwa Kisumu captain Kisumu Boys yale kwa captain Maseno School. Hapo tukaanzia then baadaye tukamaliza shule yakaingia Impala mimi nikaingia Mwamba tulikuwa na national team kwa pamoja for national team kwa karibu miaka kumi pamoja tukamaliza hiyo tukaanza hizi maneno ya development rugby kwenye eneo zenye rugby bali ilikuwa haijaingia kama tukafanya meru tukafanya masaku hapa kumbuka 2012 tukafanya watamu tukafanya kitui tukafanya sia ya hivyo hivyo na kwa makini sana alikuwa ameamini sana kwa talent ya wa Kenya mchezo wa raga anasema tunaweza kuwa one of the best so called superpowers in the world na ali ali ali, 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 ali Singapore mnamo mwaka 
Uh, na sasa tunapanga hito ndoma internete kwa kumbukumbu kwa kwake kila mwaka ya kwanza ni hii mwaka alafu next year hivyo hivyo. Kwa hiyo kila mwaka mtakuwa mnaienda kwa heshima ya Yimba Benja. Uh, kila kila pasaka tunakuwa tukumachako uh, kwa sababu ya Yimba. Angalia ameiletea Kenya fahari ameshindia taji la Singapore ndio mkondo wa Singapore nao unafanyika weekend hii unakwenda sambamba na ile dimba la kumkumbuka. Mwanzo unakumbukaje mwaka 2016 Kenya kinyanyua taji la Singapore? I mean uh, inaweza uh, utashangaa kwamba aliposhinda alisema ah hii ilikuwa fatu tungeshinda miaka 10 iliyopita. Hitu imechelewa ni mwanzo. Alikuwa na plans nyingi sana za kuendeleza rugby na tushinde zingine mingi lakini haikufanyika juu ya wale wa wa, wa viongozi wenye walikuwa katika union wakati hiyo because uh, walisema ni, ni, ni kama kwamba uh, naongea na serikali directly without kwenda through the board na vitu kama hizo ujinga tupu and uh, baadaye waka 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 toa contract yake hasa tangu wakati huo mpaka sasa hii atujaye pata mwingine mwenye zaidi kutufisha hiyo uh, mahali na atujui it, itakuwa mpaka lini angalia Kenya mara hii wanaswasua hata wanakabiliwa na tishio la kushushwa daraja eh hey, uh, ni, ni, ni uzuni kwa sababu uh, watu wengi wameweka bid uh, karibu miaka 20 iliyopita mpaka leo kufanya aimba akiwa moja wao ili kufanya rugby ya 7 siwe kwenye hiyo eneo dunia nzima but sasa hizi wanataka kurudi kwa nyasi ni ni uzuni ni uzuni na tunaomba ama tunatarajia labda hizi leg mbili zimebaki kama wanaweza jimudu labda wata survive your relegation na unasemaje kuhusu makocha nyumbani? Angalia kwa sasa wako chini ya Damian McGrath. Makocha nyumbani wanakawa na uwezo mkubwa kabisa. Hiyo ni uzu nyingine. Ah uh, kwa sababu kwamba Aimba wakati alikuwa kochi ile mshahara alikuwa analipwa ilikuwa kama nusu ya wazungu walikuwa nalipwa kwa kocha Kenya. Alikuwa nalipwa kama nusu. Na hii ndio ile ile kwa mshindi wale wengine wale walipa zile mshahara kubwa wote mpaka tikiti za ndege za kurudi nyumbani kwa likizo na nyumba na magari na kila kitu hakufadhili sasa mwenyewe alikuwa nilipwa kan nusu mshahara na alifanya tukashinda so eh mimi binafsi uh, na wenzangu wengi wenyetikwa mchezo wa rugby tunajua kwamba kuna makocha wengi sana wenye wanaweza kukua kocha wa timu zetu za za nchi lakini uh, unapata uh, uh, kuna wakenya wa wengine wanafikiria kila kila wakati ukilita mzungu ndio vitu zako zira utafanikiwa umeona imekataa <laughs> na bado wanaendelea asa sijui hiyo sasa sijui sijui tuombe ama sijui tufanye nini hapana tukiomba hapo itakuwa vizuri tuko ndani ya pasaka <laughs> tutasulubiwa labda nao <laughs> 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 na mwanzo kijumla tu raga ya Kenya unaionaje si ya wachezaji saba kilo upande peke yake na hata wachezaji 15 kilo upande Kenya labda tunapiga hatua uh, mara mingi uh, kwa mula huu ni kama tunapiga hatua alafu tunatoroni nyuma tunasema mbele tena tunatoroni nyuma uh, but in general tupiga hatua kubwa Uh, wakati sisi tulianza kucheza in the 90s uh, game ya rugby ilikuwa tu mashule chache sasa hizi imeenea kuna imeenea kwa shule mingi sana nchini uh, sasa kila county sasa at least iko na team ukienda iwe ni Meru iwe ni Siolo iwe ni wapi na hiyo ni maendeleo kubwa sana uh, watu walikuwa wanasema ati oh ni mchezo uko na hatari unaweza kufa But hii Kenya hii Kenya utakufa tu anyway. Haijalishi <laughs> <laughs> unakufa wapi. <laughs> exactly. Hata nje hata nje na kuwa hii Kenya. So eh, so imena hata sasa imeanza kuingia kwenye eh, eh, primary schools. Sasa hizi imeanza kuingia public primary schools na hiyo ni maendeleo kubwa sana and hiyo uh, ndio sasa inaisaidia inaenea kama ka product yenye kile mtu anapenda ndio sasa hata ukiwa na tournament kila kitongoji inchi watu wanakuja kwa sababu wanafurahia na kwa sababu wanaelewa ni nini inaendelea ni kama shule zinatoa mchango mkubwa kama akademia 
Eh, exactly. So, zina nae kila siku, natunafraia. Ile tu mahali penye bado tu atuja shikilia vizuri ni international competition. Domestically, nationally, imenea. But sasa inafasa tu pande juu. Tuwe ranking na ranking mzuri. Internationally, even ina inainuka. Hata ina attract sponsorship mingi na ufadhili na vitu kama hizo sasa alafu sasa ndio sasa iwe sasa ni kama kazi yenye mtu anapata pesa mzuri mshahara mzuri kwa sababu ni kazi unafanya lakini wanaona mara nyingi wana raga hamtegemei raga peke yake ni watu pia mmekula buku yule ni azanga wakati wakati unaingia na wakati tuliingia uh, unaambiwa kumbuka umeingia leo uh, siku ile ada utavunjika kabla umalize kari yako ama kari yako itaisha so it's going wakati unaingia unaambia kwanza anza anza kujitafutia uh, masomo mengine kari nyingine e, binadamu anafanya kazi mbili mara moja ni rais so uh, na tumefurahia sana hiyo ni kama tradition nimekuwa kwa rugby na bado inaendelea so wakati unaanza maybe kuna miaka 18 hivi unaambia ah anza enda shule pia somea uh, uh, trade flani ili rugby kama sporti ujui mguza ivunjika usiendele na hiyo bado ni mchanga so hata ukiendelea mpaka miaka 30 bado bado kuna kari nyingine unaendelea nao na hiyo itaendelea tunataka tukusie swala la udhamini ambalo mara nyingi kama hamna udhamini hamna kitu tunafanya mwanzo hapa katika ile dimba la benja udhamini ukoje ni kwa sawa sana uh, ni kama benja alifanya kazi kazi zote kabla atuache kila mlango tumegonga imefunguliwa tuko na fadhili kuna hii uh, uh, siji siji mtaita mtaita kiswali mnitaje mkahawa mkahawa nitafuga ucho wale wa dini ya kibrazilia wako ndani tuko na coca cola tuko na summit uh, keroche uh, tuko na kenya airport authority uh, who are the biggest sponsors uh, wako wengi uh, so hapo tunafurahia imekuwa kiasi rais kidogo kuliko zile zingine na nafikiri tu hii ni brother Imba anaendelea kutu kutuangalia kutoka binguni ni mali amelala anapata raha exactly anapata raha <laughs> <laughs> na mwanzo mshindi anakwenda nyumbani na nini hatusemi hiyo ni siri hiyo ni siri hiyo ni utamu yake ndio utamu wake ndio utamu wake eh but we to be panga mkakata vizuri sana team zote zile vitu watashinda na hiyo tutaendelea kusema Jumapili wakati tutakuwa kwenye kinyanganyiro ya mwisho angalia timu kwa wanaume ni nyingi kuliko pande ya kina dada kina dada timu sita tu labda siku moja kinyanganyiro kikiendelea kukuwa kuwa tutakuja kuwa labda na timu sawa na upande wa wanaume kweli kabisa ni vile tu timu za wanadada za raga za Kenya bado ziko kidogo wanaume kwa wengi in fact timu za wanaume tumefunga mlango walikuwa wengi sana watakuja hata wengine wamefungi wanje wamefungiwa nje wenye wamefungiwa nje ni wengi kuliko nyoko ndani so wanadada bado tu ni ni changamoto kiasi lakini bado kila mwaka inaendelea kuongezeka so mwaka ujao inafaa zote ziwe sawa Jaribu kuangalia shirikisho la KRU kwa sasa liko na rais mpya mtai mwenyewe mwanzo mtu ina gani Sasha ukiangalia historia mnamo mwaka wa sita ama saba wakati Benja alikuwa na staff kama mchezaji kama captain wa timu ya Kenya Sevens Sasha wakati hiyo ndiye alikuwa mkurugenzi wa national squads kwenye Kenya Rugby Union Sasha ndio mwenyewe aka aka an, aka analyze na akachagua benja kama anastaafu kama player na kamoga kama kocha wa nchi moja kwa moja moja kwa moja hiyo ni sasa hiyo ni sasa kwako mjamaa anajua anajua, anajua, anajua rugby vizuri anajua maneno ya maendeleo ya rugby na vile ako, a, amerudi wakati huu tunajua atafanya kazi nzuri kama vile alivyofanya wakati uliopita Yaani ni kama ni mwamko mpya kwa raga ya Kenya. Ni mwamko mpya. So tunaomba tu kila mtu wamsaidie. Eh uh, oh, atakuja hapa kesho. So kesho hizi maswali muulize kesho. Ke, kesho na Jopili atakuwa hapa. Wewe muulize hizo maswali. Na najaribu kuangalia kama kinyang'anyiro cha kombe la Kenya. Mm -hmm. Wachezaji 15 kila upande unakuta ni Kabras, 
KCB ndio wanashindana kule juu sana. Itaje tokea kwamba kuna timu nyingine pia inaleta ushindani? Ah sasa bujo hizo uh, timu mbili ziko na udhamini mingi. Uh, so hizo vilabu zingine uh, ni, ni kama wa, wa, wa kuna mashida za udhamini. So awa mshara zao ni mzuri za one players uh, kama uh, medical cover na vitu vingi sasa unapata wachezaji wote wazuri wazuri wanakimbilezi vile vile mbili hasa wengine wana wanabaki bila wanahangaika yao wanahangaika wana, wana sasa na hiyo sio nzuri kwa kwa maendeleo ya ya 15 kwa sababu unataka as a product unataka kila mtu awe ana compete hasa kama ndio anashinda kila siku hiyo product itanguka kwa sasa mtu mwingine anasema sasa story ni ile tu kila siku mjua story story mpya ndio inauza ni kama msana mpya mtaani kweli akiingia na tesa that's exactly hasa kama unaelea kila siku kwa maana unabadilishana kila siku ai sio nzuri sana kwa maendeleo ya ya 15 na labda nadhani uwepo wa mtai kama rais wa KRU mara hii labda Kenya itaanza kuwika tena angalia tunakwenda mashindano olimpiki matokeo si mazuri mm -hmm. na kwenda jumuiya ya madola matokeo si mazuri mm -hmm. lakini ndani ya Kenya unaona kidogo kuna ukuaji lakini kule nje tatizo huwa ni lini haswa tatizo huwa ni uongozi kwenye federation uchagua wakurugenzi wenye kazi yao ni kuangalia tu unafsi wao na mabarafiki zao na sio ya game haswa hapo ndio inazanga na hapo ndio inaishia so unapata wengine wanachaguliwa wanakuja wanasema oh hata mimi niko na shida hii maneno yote kupiga kura juu ya wakurugenzi wa rugby ama federation ya ya ya, 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 ya mpira inchi cause imefika wakati Afrika na Kenya siku hizi kura inanunuliwa so ina maanisha ya kwamba kila mtu yote ni yako na hela ataingia sio sera sio utu ni hela yake itamuuza hasa mara mingi wengi sana wameingia hapo kujiendeleza kibinafsi kujiendeleza kiprofile yao kwa CV yao au mini director sio nini nini lakini utu wao hamna uh, focus yao hakuna vision ile hakuna hapo ndo shida iko kuna ile ligi yenyu imefika wapi Utaona hapa kesho Kenya Rugby League kwa imara inainuka kila siku. Asante sana kwa vile nane kote nchini. hata uh, kesho ndio sasa ni kama tunafanya prison kesho na hii na tuna mechi aimba. Uh, Utaziona kesho sisi tunaoka tunaendelea mbele kwa imara. Wewe ndio msimu mpya unakuja. Ndio. Kila laheri. Asante sana. <laughs> Alafu uh, uko time? Muda upo nataka nichukue mapumziko. Alafu ni rejea tena maana yake tuko live kabisa. Aiko nataka muradhi aongee juu ya traffic plan ya tournament. Yeye ndio mkubwa wa traffic plan yetu ambaye aeleze mafans kila kitu vile utaingia machakos vile utatoka ili tisikuwe na jam na kitu kama hizo. Asante sana. Basi mwambiaje? <laughs> Sa muradhi. Njoo angalau uweke kauli mbele tatu ni Dimba oka, na Benjamin Ayimba kwa raga angalau linafanyika hapa kesho Jumamosi na siku ya Jumapili ikiwa kwamba ni shughuli nzito ya ukumbusho waliokuwa shujaa wa timu ya taifa ya shujaa Mwanzo jina lako unaitwa nani na tuambie mpangilio uko hapo pande wa mashabik. Uh, jina langu ni George Morade. Uh, I am in charge of the traffic planning management and safety uh, of the Benjamin Aimba tournament. Thank you to Her Excellency the Governor of Machakos County, Honorable Faith Wavinya. Uh, this time we are making sure there will be no traffic jam, there will be no lay layovers or any hitches because uh, like for example we've done detours, we've done diversions, we've closed some roads. Uh, from for example while wale watu wanatoka Nairobi wanaingilia Mua Hills and then access Machakos town through the golf the the golf the golf club road uh, wale watu wanatoka pande ya Konza wanaingilia Katumani junction and then uh, access Machakos uh, from the Katumani Konza water junction into Machakos town we have uh, we have we have put places uh, plans in place where we are, we, we have uh, designated parkings uh, so uh, for people coming Uh, attending the tournament uh, they shouldn't be worried about where we are going to park the vehicles or where or we have traffic marshals we are working in conjunction with the 
National Police Service, the county government of Machakos, and uh, security teams that are in place. And uh, I think for security, I'm going to let my colleague uh, talk about it. Thank you. Niko sawa sante. Sana taka nchukua mbapo mzeko marake tuko hapa kabisa siku yote kwa heshi makubwa ya shuja hayati Benjamin Ayimba. Ni mekeke mekeke moja kwa moja kutoka county ya Machakos. County ya mpahayo iko chini ya wangalizi na wanguzu wake wa vinya ndeti. Atako na hudhuria kinyanga njiro heke sike juma apili finali yake lakini iwapo ntabati kata kuna sema na waziri wa michezo ndani ya kaunti ya machako sinyewe lakini kwa sasa na chukua mapu mziko mafupi kwa yu lako ni utulie ulipo What made you decide to become a doctor? It's because my father needed one. And you, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be happy like you. Life insured is love assured. Ndikuwe chai moto eh? Ndikuwe na amba sita How is kukunya chai moto something to compete on? Now, this explains why wasi wabungoma wakombaka na yesu wao <laughs> Eh, hey, juwa ogopi kuchomeka <laughs> Tukatia sio about kuambia dem vile ameweza Iyo kuna, kuna mwambenga tu once kumsigino like Kuna venye na kudai Lakini sasa tenu kianza ku Kuzuba zuba hapo Ziyuko na nyole poa Hapo ta utapato mwende tu kutisha ma memes tu <laughs> This Easter Take a scripture journey with us innocent one died in the place of the one who was guilty. Every single one of these prophecies and more was about to be fulfilled by Jesus Christ. Captivating films from creation to the birth of Christ and beyond. Only on NTV. Kidney failure is a silent killer. Uh, most of the patients do not realize that they have the symptoms until when they are in stage 3, stage 4, stage 5. What is the progression from one stage to the other look like? It depends first on the cause. What was the cause of the kidney injury? Uh, if it is acute and it is left untreated, it quickly progresses to chronic. Initially for me it was shock because there was no explanation like what is kidney disease, mm -hmm. what is kidney failure, yeah. you know, why do you need dialysis? I, was, I wasn't taken through any of this. Mm -hmm. So when the doctor told me that I need to start dialysis, guess what I did? Mm -hmm. I went home and I never came back to hospital. Cascadia Apartments at Two Rivers Development in Nairobi with an Easter offer of 500,000 shillings discount. Price start from 9.2 million. Call us today on 0742-342-722 or text Cascadia to 22365.
ni mekeke mekeke sehemu ya pili na ya mwisho kabisa siku hii ya Ijumaa kuu Ijumaa ya mwanzo wa Pasaka na uwanja huu na historia yake pana katika ulimwengu wa kandanda ndio uwanja ambao uliandaa dimba la Sekafa mwaka mbele na kumi na saba wakati ule Kenya ikinga ikingaria kabisa timu ya Zanzibar ushindi wa mabao matatu kwa mawili kupitia mikwaju ya matuta Mlinda mlango wa sasa wa Harambee Stars nambari moja Patrick Matasi akiokoa mikwaju mitatu na kuhakikisha kwamba Kenya inaja kuwa taji la Sekafa kipindi kile kiwa chini ya uangalizi mkubwa wa mwalimu Paul Puta ambaye mwisho aliondoka na nafasi yake katwaliwa twaliwa mara nyingi maana umepita makochi wengi kabisa katika Harambe Stars akiwemo Sebastian Minye ambaye leo hii ni naibu kocha katika maeneo ya Cameroon Indomitable Lions sasa nataka ni kuibia siri nyingine ya ile dimba ama mchuano mzima wa Benjamin Ayimba sasa nataka tena niseme na Mtu ambaye anasimamia masuala ya usalama manake pia usalama ni muhimu katika mashindano yoyote ndio kila kitu kinakwenda sambamba mashabiki wa kija wanakuwa wamehakikishiwa hali yao ya usalama ikoje na kila kitu kinakuwa ndo kiko kwenye ubora wake kabisa ni kumsherehekea Benjamin Ayimba mwanzo jina lako ama ni Ibn Some Steve Gashanja, Gashanja. mwanzo unasimamia usalama mipangilio ikoje eh mipangilio iko sawa everything uh, has been well coordinated Um, we came here some months ago and uh, continuously engaging the county um, uh, both the national government and the county government um, we've had assistance from uh, the inspectorate uh, in the county we've had engagements with the NTSA um, we've had uh, um, uh, coordination with the national police service um, through the county Uh, the county uh, the regional uh, commissioners and uh, we have deployed enough security just to make sure that every single aspect of this tournament is uh, is safe and is secure so that the people can come here uh, professionals can play uh, the fans can have fun and um, yeah have an enjoyable Easter ulikuwa msikia imba Yes 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 ni 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 mtu nilikuwa najionea kwa kwa televisioni I, I, I never got a, a chance to meet him but uh, all the same it's someone who I consider a national hero to us Angalia ni shujaa kabisa wa nchi ya Kenya na ulimwengu huo wa raga na leo hii tunamsherehekea ukiwa unasimamia usalama inafurahisha kweli Yes 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 I'm very happy very excited and uh, we aim to not only give the fans what they are looking for but also to make sure that uh, Uh, we have as minimal incidences um, that are uncontrollable as possible and uh, again as i say um, we want to give um, her excellency um, our hearty congratulations for letting this event happen here um, the organizers um, and everyone who is involved in in, in making sure that uh, everyone travels safe and uh, comes and enjoys themselves and go and they make sure that they go back home to their families having and uh, thoroughly enjoyed what what is happening here so that is that is our bit for your waje wengi mashabik um we expecting uh, uh, a number of about 10000 people um and as such we've deployed enough uh, security officers from uh, from my company that is uh, uh, guardian eagle uh, protective services uh, limited um and also co-opted um, uh, collaboration through uh, po- uh, the national police service the inspectorate and the uh, 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 ntsc asanta uh, yeah, thank you thank you very much and enjoy kabisa nataka sasa niwajumuishe mashabiki ambao pia wamekuja hapa Mwanzo tundu yani mkoko na alika maua wamesema kuja mapema ikiwa ni Ijumaa siku ya maandalizi kabambe kabla mashindano kufanyika rasmi hapo kesho na mwanzo ni seme na director wa mchuano wenyewe he, he, ni binti angalau pia ndio inafurahisha isikuwa kwamba tumeongea na wandume wandume peke yake airidhishi kweli anzo na jina lako naitwa nani na mwanzo tunatarajia nini uh, so my name is Damima Duffield uh, I'm the tournament director for the Benjamin Naimba Legacy Tournament and what we should expect is lots of entertainment on the rugby side especially because i mean it's a shorter version of the game um it's rugby league so it's even quicker than sevens and we've got strong teams coming down i've seen the team lists eh what to i mean there'll be it will be days two days packed of lots of entertainment we'll also have women's teams coming down um we've got some teams who i know uh, on the ladies side have played up to national team level so uh, we're raising the bar timu za kinadada ni chache timu sita tu hili lina kusumbua 
No, at the moment it doesn't. What usually happens is when you start a sport, especially if it is male dominated, you will have girl, like women's teams coming up after the men's teams. So that is fine for me. It is, of course, it is something we are focusing on going forward. We've got to have more ladies teams also, um, or even have a ladies tournament on their own and feature one or two, ma you know, male teams. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's not something that worries me at the moment. Na Benjamin Ajimpa, alikuwa in gani? Um, in my experience, he was a humble man. We talked as if, um, because everybody who has gone through rugby, or a lot of people who have played rugby, worked in rugby, you know Benjamin Ayemba. And I remember we started talking off of, it was just very random, but it wasn't at Yeye ni star, and you know, I am someone that he doesn't know. The conversation was always cordial, you know, uh, we talked about rugby, we talked about things off the pitch, you know, a very wholesome conversation. So for me, I mean, there are lots of things I picked up just from talking to him as a person. Kweli sinamkosa. Yes, uh, for those of us who know him, we, like he is missed dearly. But um, I mean, that is why we're having this tournament, you know, to carry on his legacy because he was one of the founders, along with Quix Nyakwaka, um, of uh, you know bringing, actually, of the KRLF, uh, Kenya Rugby um, League Federation. So this is his dream. This is his baby, and our our purpose is to carry this on, carry on his legacy, and we hope to have this tournament year after year. Whether it will be here or not, we don't know. But I mean, come today. Because next year it might be somewhere else. Na raga ya kinadada hapa nyumbani, unaisema aje, tunapiga hatua ama bado tuko chini? I think in terms of resources, you know, where we are in terms of planning, coordination, and where the girls are, they're doing very well. Um, I feel like if we had the resources that everybody else has, um, we'd be at a higher level, but I'm very impressed with the girls. Our teams are generally made up of younger ladies. I don't think there's anyone over 25. And if they're not over 25 and they're playing at that level, imagine someone maybe at 27. That's like, you know, maybe their peak, they've got all the experience, they're still fit. I think we're doing very well. And I like that a lot of our rugby league teams are younger girls because then they grow in the sport. Um, they, the older ones get to mentor them on their way out. But then this is somebody who has been there when resources were lacking. When they come, those are the first guys who will benefit. Uh, what I would say is, come and enjoy the rugby. I mean, that is the main attraction for the day. So everyone should come, enjoy the rugby, have fun. Of course, we've got the village. And for me, those are side, side, you know, any side attraction. Kuja, we enjoy rugby, see that people are playing. I mean, for young ladies, we could start a team on this side. Asante. All right, thank you very much. Kabisa, nataka pia sasa ni seme na mashabiki wenyewe mbao pia wamekuja kuja hapa, wamekuja mapema. Mazo ni anzo na huyu ndugu yangu. Unaitwa nani? Na inakuwa jume wai kwa kati. Mimi naitwa Vincent Monyoki, mimi mkazi wa Pumachakos na nimekuwa nikingoja hii competition since 2016. The last time ilikuwa ni 2016. Na imekuwa ni muda mrefu sana tukingoja, but right now we are very excited to see my Sako Sevens back in the name of my Ayemba uh, Legacy Tournament which is in celebration and honor of the legend himself. So I'm so happy. Okay, na kumbuka kuna masako iliwahi kuvuruga machako. Unaikumbuka ile? Naikumbuka vizuri, naikumbuka okay. vizuri. Lakini nikiangalia wakati ule kulikuwa na event tofauti zilikuwa zina happen including kulikuwa na mazishi ya Hayati uh, General Mulinge, kulikuwa na graduation ya Daystar, kulikuwa graduation pia pale Scott Theological College, kulikuwa pia na showground. So leo kulingana vile kuko event ile kubwa ni moja peke yake. Kwa hivyo atu expect kupata shida kama hiyo tena. Ngoja tukuwe na burudani ya raga. Burudani peke yake, mashabiki wa furahie na sisi kama wakazi tukuwe empowered through economic activities kwa sababu kuna accommodation, watu watalala pale machakos, hapa machakos, kuna watu wanauza vyakula na vitu vingine kwa wingi. Kama shabiki. Ayimba ulikuwa na msikia sikiaje? Ayimba nimekuwa nikimtazama tangu nikiwa mtoto mdogo. Tangu wakati alikuwa mchezaji wa raga, mimi nilikuwa napenda sana kuitazama hiyo mpira. Kwa hivyo kutoka wakati ule nimekuwa nikimfuatilia kwenye social media, kwenye TV, magazeti na nimemjua kama mtu ambaye alifanya kazi yake vile inavyofaa. He is a true legend of this country up to the point that he became a, a coach na pia akiwa coach alifanya kazi nzuri na akaleta aka, aka, aka Kenya ushindi even kwa, kwa kwenye zile timu kubwa zaidi duniani tuliweza kuzishinda kwa sababu ya uongozi wake. Tukashinda ubingwa wa Singapore na mashindano ya Singapore anafanyika wikendi ndio tuliweza kuwashinda na nikidhani uh, ile naweza about Ayimba as a person and the late Ayimba as a country 
tunafaa ku celebrate wale mabingwa ambao ni legends either living ama they have passed on kwa sababu ile historia tunaiangalia wameletea Kenya uh, pride ambayo iwezi badilishwa na iwezi iletewe hata na watu wengine tukiangalia si ayima peke yake kuna so many sportsmen ambao in the past wameletea Kenya so much pride so uh, as a country and what i would wish for our government to do is wakishe kwamba wasingojee mtu afariki ndio tumcelebrate kwa sababu sasa hizi tuna celebrate ayimba wakati ya maisha ondoka na hatuwezi wacha kumcelebrate lakini naomba kwa sana sana our government yahakikisha kwamba na legends are alive they celebrate them ingekuwa vizuri kama ayimba angekuwa hai na promote kwa hapa ndani ya uwanja na sherehekewa tungefurahi sana as a country and as a sporting nation kila la Nashukuru sana. Huyo <laughs> ni Shabeka Mbaye kiukweli na roho ya Raga amekuja hapa kufuatilia kwa karibu sana. Raga ya kumkumbuka aliyekuwa shujaa wa Raga ya Kenya na Raga Kiuli Mwengo na alifanya mambo mazito akiwa na timu ya taifa mbali na kuiletea fahari kubwa mwaka 2016 kushinda taji la Singapore. Haikuwa rahisi kuifunga Fiji la Mathlafeni kwa saba lakini nataka niweke pembeni Raga kwa kiasi ni kupeleke katika Mwengo wa Kandanda. Awali nilitembea katika kaunti ya kaka mega nikamtafuta beki mstaarabu kabisa wa klabu ya kaka mega homeboys huyu ni Robinson Kamura amekuwa katika timu mbali mbali hapa nyumbani amekuwa na hodha wa ingwe kwa wakati mmoja akaondoka akakwenda KCB amekuwa kula amefanya mawili matatu akiwa na zidekaya ziko Otieno na mara hii yuko chini ya uangalizi wa Patrick Odhiambo mwalimu mkuu wa kaka mega homeboys nikafanya mahojiano naye tusikie yalikuwa kuaje Uh, After kumaliza mkataba wangu na KCB eh, nikapata chance hapa Homeboys na nika nafurahi niko nyumbani so, kwa sababu hii ni kama mandugu wa FC Leopard so siwezi sema nimekuja mahali pageni sana eh, juu huku ni mtaani na niko sawa kabisa niliadapt haraka na nafurahi kuwa hapa Homeboys ya. Na Homeboys unaonaje huu msimu? Ni marathon na tumekuwa na run mzuri na kuna mali kumekuwa na hiccups, kumekuwa na run mbaya. Tujaweza kupata ushindi hii mwaka vile tungetarajia kwa sababu kiangalia Homeboys ni timu imekuwa ikimaliza eh, top 5, ijakuwa ikimaliza chini ya namba 5 so na kuonyesha ni timu gani na inahitaji nini na ukiangalia msimu uliopita walishikania point so nikawa bado walibeba league sababu ukiangalia ni mabao zilifanya task wapate wapate kikombe but naweza sema bado ni, ni first leg ndio hakuna muda kwa sababu kila point ina mata na ukiusipochukua point kuna timu inachukua point na sijakuona ukicheza saa hii na niliumia game ya bandari E, ilikuwa dakika ya ite hapo niliumia nili mgongo lakini nashughulikiwa na madaktari na narikava vizuri kwa sababu sasa hii wiki moja imepita na uchungu imepungua na maybe from the other game naweza kuwa niko kwa kikosi ku ku, ku work, kurudi kwa timu yeah. na sasa inaona kuna mabadiliko katika safu ya kiufundi amekuja Patrick Odhiambo ameondoka Johnny Baraza labda hili linaathiri kivipi timu ama naleta mabadiliko yapi Uh, suwezi suwezi ongelea sana kuhusu mabadiliko kwa sababu ukiangalia side zote waga zinachangia so na team team kutoperform ni, ni sisi hatushindi so ina maanisha kuna mali atakuwa tuna get right so kitu tunaweza fanya ni ni ku, ni, ku, ni kuweza ku adapt haraka kwa change imekuwa kwa sababu hiyo change imefanyika si ati walete kitu kubwa sana waweze tu kuendeleza na kujaribu kurekebisha tuweze kupata ushindi si ati wale wengine hatu kupata ushindi nao lakini utapata hizo ni shughuli za ofisi si wachezaji kazi yetu ni kucheza mpira na naweza sema coach mwenyewe amekuwa hapa before na yeye mwenyewe alituambia eh, eh, what zake za kwanza anajua almost eh, wachezaji wote wale wako hapa homeboys kuna wale amewaka nao kuna wale ameona kwa timu zingine sababu kabla ende Tanzania amekuwa Kenya na alikuwa hata hapa homeboys e, mwisho akienda Tanzania. So wewe pia yuko mahali pageni. So ni rahisi aweze kubadilisha vitu hata kama si haraka but e, vitu wa mini sure zitakuwa positive moving forward kwa sababu pia sisi tungependa kushinda kila game na niko sure ataongeza kitu. Yeah. Kamoro umekuwa AFC, umekuwa KCB, sasa kaka Mega Homeboys na 
kijumla tu ligi ya kandanda ya Kenya utaisemaje na umekuwa katika klabu tofauti? Anaweza sema mpira ya Kenya ilibadilika mahali tulipata ni kama ban. E, ligi ilikuja ika, ikaisha nguvu ikakuwa ni kama yani e, ligi ya Kenya si ati ikakuja ikakuwa mbovu sababu ligi bado ilikuwa inaendelea bado tukiangalia e, hakukua na na ile naweza semaje hakukua na ile ni kama ari kwa team sile ya kuweza kukompete kabisa sababu pesa ikuwa kwa ma team e, kujipanga uliona wakovas zilikuja zikakuwa mingi so ukiona mahali wakovas zinakuwa mingi teams haziwezi enda game na ni ligi ya juu ya Kenya hiyo inakuonyesha tu kwa tunaelekea njia nzuri so naweza sema tulirudi nyuma step eh, kama tano hivi na ndio tunajaribu na the new cs na na ofisi kurudi katika mandate yao tuna hope wataweza rekebisha vitu ligi ya Kenya irudi mali ilikuwa kwa sababu eh, mali ilikuwa tulikuwa mpaka tuna attract wachezaji kutoka nje na ikuwa bure ni kwa sababu ligi vile ilikuwa imejipanga na wachezaji wa huku nyumbani bado si ati saya wajitumi ilikuwa ni rahisi sana kuenjoy ball sababu ball ukiangalia ni talent so ni kitu unapenda ni passion so kama vitu zimejipanga vizuri that's why tulikuwa tunauza wachezaji wengi nje wa Kenya na walitoka wengi so na sasa pia kuna talent mingi sana zinakuja ndogo na mimi naweza sema ligi kirudi tu mali ilikuwa tu vizuri na ishughulikiwe vizuri Uh, tutarudi mahali pazuri sababu sai si all about homeboys ama timu nyingine ama nyingine naweza penda kusema tunaangalia Kenyan football na tungependa sana irudi mahali ilikuwa sasa hii angalau ushindani ni mkubwa angalia nzoia sugar tasca gorma ya kakamega hiyo mm. eh, hiyo pia inakuonyesha watu walikuwa wamemiss mpira kwa sababu mimi niko sure hiyo table vile iko hivyo si si watu wengi walitarajia vile itakuwa sababu usipo win game unajipata huko chini uki win game unajipata hapo juu. Hiyo na kuonyesha vita huku juu na vita ya chini ni tofauti si kama zamani. E, so inakuonyesha vile ligi ni tight na watu yani watu wame, wamekubali wako ready kurudi mali tulikuwa kwa sababu points zikiwa hujaacho na points mingi hiyo hiyo sasa inamaanisha kuna competition. Yeah. Leo hii leo sio kasema urudi utarejea? Ah siwezi ongelea mambo ya kurudi ama kutorudi kwa sababu nikifanya kazi vizuri utakuwa mahali pazuri. So nimekuwa hapo na sasa hii niko homeboys na focus na ku, kufanyia homeboys kazi kwa sababu ni, ni team kubwa kivi yake pia. Yeah. Sala la viwanja hapa magharibi mwa Kenya utasemaje angalia uwanja buhungu uwanja mkubwa ungali unakarabatiwa Anaweza sema hii kiwanja ikiisha wanaifanyia kazi pole pole e, na ni kiwanja poa sana huku western na anaweza sema kuna zingine mingi kuna Mumias e, ni viwanja zikishughulikiwa vizuri zinaweza host games e, vizuri na watu wanaweza safiri sababu kipata timu mingi zikikuja huku game we wanasafiri wanatumia pesa so wanafaa kuja wapate kiwanja ikiwa poa na mshua hapo waga power disappoint sababu bukungu inashughulikiwa vizuri ukiangalia hata sasa hii tunaifanyia mazoezi mepesi tukitayarisha kucheza game kwa sababu ni mimi naweza sema ni kiwanja hata imewahi host sekafa so ni kiwanja poa na watu watu enjoy wakikuja hapa homeboys ni sad wanatoka na point hapa na tunataka moving forward wasikuwa wanatoka na point hapa sababu ni nyumbani ya ndo maandalizi kabambe ambayo yangale yanafanywa chini kwa chini katika uwanja huu wa Kinyata uwanja mbao na uwezo mkubwa wa kusheheni na kuwabeba mashabiki tuseme zaidi ya elfu kumi maandalizi ya kukata kata nyasi maandalizi ya kuweka bana hapa na pale kwa heshima kubwa ya huu mchuano wa kumkumbuka aliyekuwa shujaa na ni kocha mkuu wa timu ya shujaa ya wachezaji saba kila upande Benjamin Ayimba mwenda zake alifariki mwaka na moja baada ya kugua maradhi ya cerebral 
malaria akafariki akiwa na umri wa miaka 44 alienda chini mapema sana jamani tunamkosa asilimia kubwa kabisa lakini mchuano huu unaandaliwa kwa heshima kubwa ya kumkumbuka hayati Benjamin Ayimba shughuli nzito itakuwa inafanyika kesho na Jumapili ndio itakuwa finali juu ya finali nakumbuka kwamba uwanja huo pia ushawahi kuandaa michuano ya soka mbali mbali hasa katika ligi kuu ya kandanda ya Kenya mechi kadhaa zishawahi kupigiwa hapa na hadi dakika hii Gor Mahia wanapania kuendea taji lao likiwa ni la 20 mataji 19 tayari wako nayo kibindoni na kabatini kwa sasa wako jua jedwali alama 46 mabingwa wa tetezi taska wanakamata nafasi ya pili alama 42 wakati KCB 41 alama zao alafu kabisa Nzoia Sugar thelathini na nane sambamba na AFC Lopots Kenya Police wakiwa na alama zao na chungulia chungulia tu kwa heshima kukuibia siri angani alama zao Kenya Police nafasi ya sita thelathini na sita kumbuka kwamba Gor Mahia watakuwa na kipiga dhidi ya Kariu Bangi Sharks katika mechi ya weekend hii sambamba kabisa alafu kutakuwa na Kenya Police dhidi ya AFC Lopots katika uwanja wa taifa wa Nyayo Jumapili na sasa kwa jua uwanja huu pia umetundikwa ikiwa kwamba ni kapeti kapeti ya kukimbilia mazulia la kukimbilia ambalo liliwekwa na gavana wa kwanza kabisa aliyewahi kuongoza hapa Alfred Mtua wakati ule akiwa ametawala muhula wa miaka miwili na alizulia ambalo kiukweli haliko katika ubora wake silimia mia tuseme kama asilimia hata hamsini siwezi kulipa zulia lenyewe labda asilimia thelathini manake limetoboka toboka kabisa kwa hiyo gavana wa sasa wa Vinyandeti afanye wangu wangu afanye hima kuhakisha kwamba mkeka na zulia la kukimbilia kwa wanariadha linawekwa kwenye ubora wake asilimia mia manake pia huku ndiko na kutoka naibu rais wa kwanza kabisa katika shirikisho la riadha hapa nyumbani Paul Mtui kaunti ya Machakos ndo nyumbani kwao na huku huwa na klabu yake ikiwa ni ya riadha <laughs> ndo raha akiwa kwamba anafanya mambo mazito akitokea katika kaunti hii sambamba katika ukuzaji na ugunduaji na uleaji mzima wa talanta upande wa riadha na riadha ndo huwa Kenya anafanya mambo mazito ikiwa kwamba hata Kenya kufahamika katika mataifa mengine ni kwa sababu ya riadha wa Kenya kufanya mambo makuu kama Eliud Kipchoge ambaye ni mshikilizi wa rekodi ya marathon ulimwenguni sambamba na Ferdinand Omorua Omanyala na yanafanya mambo mazito katika mbio fupi mbio ambazo Kenya awali haikuwa na tiafora mara hii anafanya shughuli ambayo imefufua moral na motisha kwa kambi nzima ya mbio fupi hapa nyumbani alafu katika ligi kuu ya kandanda ya England mambo mazito yatakuwa yanafanyika weekend na ikiwa kwamba mechi inayosubiriwa kwa hamu na gamu ni ile kati ya Vinara Arsenal dhidi ya wale kwa mabingwa Liverpool mechi ambao ama ambaye atakuwa inapigwa katika uwanja wa Anfield mechi ambayo ni ya siku ya Jumapili mechi nzito kabisa mechi ambayo labda ndio itakuwa inaamua kabisa kama Arsenal ndoto yake nia yake ya kukata mzizi wa fitna wa kuendea taji la ligi ya kandanda England kwa kipindi cha miaka 19 ambayo imechanika hawajawahi kuliona miliona likikwenda kwa Manchester City wamekuwa kiliona labda likikwenda kwingine likikwenda kwa Leicester City mwaka 2015 2016 na inafurahisha kama Arteta atakuwa anafanya mambo makuu kuiletea Kenya ama kuiletea <laughs> ikiwa ni Arsenal. Mashabiki wengi wa Arsenal wanatoka Kenya pia eh barani Afrika ambapo ndio wako wengi zaidi na mkuu wangu wa kitengo upande wa Swahili huyu ni Lofty Matambo. Mm, shabiki mkubwa wa Chelsea ana imani kwamba wanakwenda labda kushinda taji la ligi ya mabingwa Ulaya, wanakipiga dhidi ya Real Madrid mabingwa mara 13 katika hatua ya robo finali ambayo itakuwa inapigwa wiki ijayo nadhani siku ya Jumatano. Na mara hii Chelsea wako chini ya mkubwa waliokuwa mwalimu wao Frank Lampard na aliwahi kucheza katika kiungo akicheza The Blues na timu ya taifa ya England 
England Simba watatu ndo shughuli nzima hiyo ya ligi ya kandanda ya England ambayo pia atakuwa na kumegea ratiba ya michuano hiyo baada ya baada ya leo katika NTV ikiwa ni jioni kikubwa na chama ni kwamba imekuwa ni mekeke mekeke kutoka anga na ardhi ya uwanja Kinyata ndani ya kaunti ya Machakos Yosho Makoro na Sport nimesherehesha ikikwenda sambamba na mpiga picha Morin ambaye amepiga shughuli kujituma asilimia mia kuhakisha kwamba mikiki inaivamia inaiteka na kudumu ngani kwa kipindi cha Sanzima sasa tena mimi na wewe kutiana kwenye mboni itakuwa ni wakati wa NTV ya dhuhuri lakini kama kawaida nikisepa lazima nikuibie siri kwamba katika maisha kufanya maamuzi yaliyochelewa ni sawa na maamuzi mabaya kwa sababu ulistahili uyafanye wakati anastahili huku yafanya kwa hiyo hayana maana yoyote kwa hiyo ni muhimu wakati unafanya maamuzi yafanya kipindi ambacho yanastahili wakati uliopo sio wakati uliopita ama wakati unaokuja inakuwa ndio raha starehe ni itamana sport ni zaidi kwa sasa kwa heri ya kuonana